Let's have a look at the remote control settings in the DJI Go app. So we can get into this by clicking on the remote control or again those three dots in the top right hand corner. So the remote controller settings, the first thing we have here is the remote controller calibration. So going through the calibration process allows us to uh, tell the remote where 100% value is. So for instance, um, if we were pitching forward and we only got a value of 95%, then we'd never actually have full forwards motion. Um, so we can fix that up through the uh, stick calibration or the controller calibration. Next one down here is stick mode. So there's a couple of standard modes that uh, remote controls normally come in. Uh, probably the most common out of all of those is mode one and mode two. So we have discussed uh, through the content uh, what mode one and mode two means. And of course you could make these fully custom if you wanted to. So if you wanted left and right to go up and down, feel free. Next one in this list is the uh, customization for C1, C2. So if we click on here, we can make these buttons do different things, uh, whether you want to, that to bring out battery info or point the camera down, etc., etc. And lastly, we've got linking the remote control. So the remote and the aircraft receiver are bound, so they'll only talk to each other. So you can use a, another remote to fly your aircraft, uh, but you'll have to rebind them. You'll have to get them to learn each other again. And that's through the linking the remote control. So we go through that process, click OK, and it'll search. And there's a button on the aircraft that we can push, which is for the aircraft to respond. So that's the remote controller settings in the DJI Go app.